Yo, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Common, and today we are starting a brand new series. We are playing some Disco Elysium, and straight up, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know a whole lot about this game. There's just a couple things I know. Number one, it's an open world RPG. Uh, number two, it's apparently extremely highly rated. Uh, everyone who's played at least a little bit of it says that it's absolutely tremendous. Uh, maybe one of the best RPGs ever made. And then number three, uh, your choices actually really do make a difference in this game. So I guess you're a detective and you get to explore a city and uh, solve crimes and stuff like that uh, and so yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun with it apparently also you can fall in love so hopefully if this is truly the greatest RPG and I don't know if this is possible my goal is gonna be to fall in love with some girl who's married then we're gonna have to frame her husband for a crime that he didn't commit then we're gonna have to go arrest him kill him while arresting him only so that we can marry his widow that's my plan. If we can do that, straight up, this is gonna be the greatest game ever made. If not, well, we're just gonna have to go find some single person or something, I don't know. So, select your archetype. Ooh, all right. We can be physical, sensitive, or thinker. Pfft, come on, really? Yeah, we're gonna be a thinker. Why do we real sensitive, man? Uh, very psychologic, magnetic personality, but unstable. Might begins to lose his mind. Might begin to lose his mind. <laughs> all right all right physical extremely physical interacts with the world through his body gets things dumb but dumb as a rock nah extremely intelligent very bad with people knows interesting facts and comes up with original ideas hell yeah dude we are gonna be a thinker every which way maybe we should create our own but i don't know enough about the game to really make a archetype the furies are at home in the mirror it is their address even the clearest water if it deep enough can drown okay begin there is nothing. Only warm primordial okay. blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. All right, we're definitely a thinker. Ever. <laughs> ever. 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 Uh, simply keep on non-existing. <laughs> <laughs> it is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained Dang within it. it. Uh, give me some more. Give me some more ex-wives. You got it, sweet brother. Woo! Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. I like nothing, or how about you... How about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth <laughs> passage. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Alonzi, let's go. I I don't get the reference. All right, fine. Do you really? Don't be so naive. Of course not. I want to sail the inky blackness until forever ends. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Nothing town to fuck all, Barra. What if we just lose the game because we just never, you know, come out of the nothingness? Look, there's a. I'm tired of being this type of animal and who gives a shit. Uh, let's visit the ancient zero home or a return trip to the silence, please. Yeah, silence, man. Do you want me to upgrade that to a one-way trip, sir? Uh, don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meet around you. A sensation. Guys, I'm beginning to think we're not going to be able to float in the darkness forever. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscious sticks it. to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing. Dancing to disco music. So does this take place in the 80s, the future, or like alternate reality? In which disco music's popular still. Mother, help me. There's a head attached to my neck and I'm in it. Stop. I don't want to hear anything more about the sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. Yes. Like arises from your mouth. No. And with it, an ungodly headache. I was up drinking last night. Someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. <laughs> this is great. Uh, a fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. Clearly I was sleeping. I have a hangover and my alarm clock's going off. Medium success. Somehow you know what it is. A Kupis Kenenma mortared carriage? 
Uh, all right. Music just got loud. Yep. Yep. Boom. Looking good, dude. I like this. This definitely gives off the uh, ex-husband drunkard cop look. I'm digging it. I love the tie on the fan, too. Oh, my gosh. Yes, please. No, no, no. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ceiling fan. The fan has two chain pulls, the switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. The truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. I, I actually have to roll to get the tie. What if we pull on the fan? The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. Woo! I'm smart, guys. Yeah. Boom. Success. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. Continue. Uh, pull on the fan. Because... The switch must be broken because nothing happens. The air in the room is starting to feel like vaporized urine. Crap! Pull on the light bulb. Oh my god, a terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Uh, pull again to turn the lights off. Bring it on. Turn the lights off, man. Alright, let's leave. Well, that's fun. That's fun. We've literally done nothing but grab a tie. I think this is our coat. Let's go ahead and take all. Item gained, disco ass blazer. <laughs> Do we have the tie on? Oh my gosh, we had the tie on and nothing else. That seems actually amazing. Uh, you see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer, and sweet liqueur. Liqueur. Hold tab to highlight. Ah, all right. Words fail to describe how rank it smells in here. They should have sent a poet. I guess that's our shirt. Item gained, white satin shirt. Yeah, we're looking a little bit better. I don't know what this is. Mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent, broken sink, and a fierce discharge of masculine energy somehow has ripped half of the faucet off. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Uh, conceptualization. Challenge success. Was this not the same Elon that found the empires and lay waste the cities viral on caring towards the little things? I have no idea what this is, but okay. Probably not. No. Hot water sprays over the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, but a vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. No way I'm not doing this. Wipe the mirror. Really, nothing? Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror... <laughs> success. Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. I don't care. Maybe I should touch it first, making sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Better not know. I don't care. Wipe it. Behold, oh my god, oh my god, you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear lord, help me, what is this? Of course I do, it's uh, it's some kind of superstar, I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. I'm a superstar, man. It appears you're also dead, there's clear rigor mortis on your face, or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I think I might be because I'm a superstar. Dude, this game is awesome. Okay, I love this game. I don't care. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No, this is what superstars do. <laughs> you can't, can you? It's not like it's even voluntary anymore. You have that worn, you have worn that grin into your face and now you won't come off. Superstardom. <laughs> What does it even mean? What is it the emotion you're trying to convey? God, I don't know. I think it's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. Uh, I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. Uh, it's ins ins insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. Uh, I think I'm some sort of pulling it off too in a sad has-been kind of way. There's some charm to it. It's an expression. No, superstardom, man. You should check yourself for a pulse, superstar. From here, it looks like a cadaverous spasm. Check for a pulse. Woo! We gained experience. You find no signs of life on your swollen neck. However, putting your hand on your chest reveals an irregular heartbeat. You appear to be alive for now. Formidable 13. Dig deep into your mind and locate the source of the expression. Electrochemistry. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. <laughs> Screw it. Let us locate the source of the expression. Oh, we failed. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Screw it. 3%. Let's do it. Now, 
Let the mirror be. Uh, it's too late. Like an image unfilled, the expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. So I'm going to basically be walking around forever with this creepy smile. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. So that's white, but I can't do anything. Is that the door? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I guess we should put pants on. Nah, you know what? I'm not putting pants on. You can't make me. I'm not an adult. I mean, I am. This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. Dang it. How am I supposed to get drunk, man? What is dish? Uh, empty cassette tape. All right. Probably the reel-to-reel -reel tape player is still on rolling empty. Well, add the empty cassette, please. Empty cassette. Can I, can I use it? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm freaking crazy, man. Is that psychological? Psych power. Oh, psyche. Uh, that makes more sense. Physique, motorics, and intelligence. Motorics? I have no idea. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Oh, good job, Brian. Uh, and I guess there's my shoes. Are we gonna put pants on? Uh, I guess. I kind of want to not walk around without pants on. I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like that's probably the best way to go, but you know. All right, let's look at ourselves. You hear a jingle. Keys are clicking in the pocket of your flare cut pants. Oh, I gotta put the pants on to open the door. Fish them out. It says, whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Success chance. The whirling in rags is a hostile cafeteria on the urban coast frequented by dock workers. Okay, then. So I guess if you're smart enough, you learn some knowledge about things. I wonder if every playthrough has you as a, hey, you want to get married? Uh, uh, if every playthrough has you going absolutely psychotic in the beginning. There's something on the table. That's what I'm trying to pick up. Money. Okay, well, we're just gonna take the money. Hello there, what's up? Hello, officer. Hi. College, Miss Orange, disco dancer, the young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Oh yeah. Her eyes are brown, her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. Oh, that's perception, nice. Conceptualization. Okay, so it's like everything about it you roll, whether or not you can actually uh, tell what's going on, it, perception, conceptualization, that actually is cool. Um, a silver jump shoot falls off her like scale armor sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. No, officer, am I military personnel? Um, I want to talk to her. No. You seem perplexed. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? Oh, okay. I forgot that I'm actually a cop. The young woman shakes her head slowly. Officer could be an artistic statement. You're already prone to those. Officer is my stage name, right? I can see myself in the middling disco artist called the officer. Yeah, I mean, I am a superstar. No. <laughs> she looks you in the eyes. Officer, You're a sir. police officer, sir. <laughs> God damn right, I'm a policeman, and don't you forget cool. it. <laughs> I love this game. Okay, I won't. No need to be alarmed, I was just getting into character, you know. <laughs> okay. okay, she breathes into the silvery smoke. How do you know I'm a police officer? Sir, you've been here for three days on official police business, as you put it. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You're right about that. You have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. I might not want to know where I am, or who I am, or what a culpris canemia is. I don't know what that is. How I know what one sounds like. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? 8% chance. Uh, try the expression on her. Let her know that you want her physically. Who rocks? <laughs> Try the expression. Come on, why are you still doing this? I'm at death's door, bloated a goner, and still, does the longing ever stop? Well, let's freaking go. Alcoholic raises testosterone levels, especially in men, she says matter-of-factly. The levels remain elevated after inebriation ends and the pain begins. You see comfort. It's only natural. 
She puts out her cigarette. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I seduced you. Something stirs in you she's about to go. Call it an instinct to need. The ask to ask questions. It's like you said a word a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glimmering off her eyes. What if I don't want to ask questions? Before you go, I have some questions for you. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the levels remain. You see comfort's only natural. Then this is reaction speed. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct to need. The need to ask questions. She looks back at you. What if I don't want to ask questions? Before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes? Your room's almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? Oh, no. But we seduced her. No, where are we? We're in the world. You're in a hostel, sir. We're in the Revocal. All right. Revocal is the disgraced former capital of the world divided into zones of control under foreign occupation half a century after a failed world revolution. She's central. She is central to our moment in time. Should this mean something to me? Revocal forever. Sure, forever and ever. Oh, all right. And ever and ever. Out of the corner of your eyes, you see the hair on the back of your hand standing on end. It feels as though low-grade lightning is coursing through you. You must be hypersensitive from the hangover. Uh, tell me what year it is. It's 51. What century? The current century. What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names, and this is the current one. How many centuries have there been? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. Okay, what's so funny? You're right. Her expression turns serious. There's nothing funny about civilization. Uh, did you hear anything last night? There was unusual ruckus. She shrugs loud disco mu music. Do I have visitors? I couldn't say it's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She nods towards room three. Loud disco music? Oh, yes. Various artists. Uh, Austrian ends. Ah, I forgot that word. Orchestration. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, okay. The less said about, oh, the better. Oh, we were huge where I came from. Oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like seven. Life gets hard. All right. We go on, all right. I don't know about that. Around 2 o'clock, the disco stopped. There was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Sometime you were yelling along with it. Was I singing this? Yeah, we gained experience. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that. And also, what else? That doesn't matter anymore. And that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. The song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what you're singing on top of it. Do you mean that in a cool way, like Wild Beast? Yes, it was very cool. Boom! Man, I got her. She loves me, man. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or really means. Oh, she means it. She means it. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? That is so me. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> a window was smashed, a tape player probably, the song stopped in furniture too. A real destruction-thon. There was screaming, then I think you passed out. It prides me to hear this. Tell me there was more. <laughs> there was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards, everything was quiet around then, around four or five, she nods, and that was it. Alright, you can go now. I have to have been of assistance. I'm looking you up later, lady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Okay. Looks like she left a nice long stub. It's still smoking. That is dangerous. Yo. Put it out. Oh, uh, it's tab, right? Try the handle. Oh, knock. There's no answer. Knock again. Still no answer. Much harder. Dang it! Woman! Why? Oh, man, I succeeded, and then... Uh, Trample de la mod, mood, mond, whatever. Go down the stairs. Equip a flashlight in low-light areas. Dude, I love this game. Uh, 10 to 10 already. This is like my dream. <laughs> All right. Lots of people down here. There's some interesting artwork for sure. Ooh, there's a disco stage. All right, well, let's check here. What is this? Summer door closed for the winter. So it's winter. Can I, can I, can I interact with these? A big old karaoke mic just waiting for someone to sing in it. Let's do it. This is where the lyrics would be. Aw, all right. The speakers connect to the radio. The music is seasoned with static. Inland Empire, you should totally sing karaoke here the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. 
My soul is immense. My soul is modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. My soul's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Yes. Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. This goes well with the theory that I'm developing that I'm uh, a down-on-my-luck superstar person. <laughs> oh my god, this game. Yes. 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 Who's mistakenly identified as the god for his prominent jawline? Yes, sounds likely. You should probably go on stage, pose for the moment when you're done with this thought. See if it works. What should I sing when I when it comes to it? You should sing that sad small church song from the tape you found. Thought it was obvious. Of course, they'll really get a gauge on my soul with that one. I was thinking maybe I could sing something happy. Nah, nah, nah. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic small church song. Who's laughing now? No one. New task, sing karaoke. You would need another copy of the tape first though. The one upstairs is destroyed. No, I wanna sing. No. A bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Where's it coming from? Dude. From a distant sunset, stage light, flash photography, nowhere in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do when they squint at lights and they solve shit. Actually, now that I hear superstar and law official in the sentence, they sound weird together. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. <laughs> yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bye. Badass on the edge disco cop. Time to recede into a ludic ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera. Lights. And action. Thought game. Some kind of superstar. With a sudden flash and the world freezes around you, you along with it, an iconic monochrome solution, a blank silhouette against the rasterized owned world. It's on. I don't know what happened other than I am a superstar, man. That's all that matters. Oh, okay. So now I'm some kind of superstar and I lose logic. Whoops. Whoops. First, let's make this absolutely clear. No one's saying you're an actual superstar in the group. He's in cocaine riddled with hepatitis C, strikes a lion-esque pose with a mic kind of way. You're not Glami Le Million or Davi Deweese. No, you're a metaphorical superstar. You bring that rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect or want to see it. Where some would say it doesn't belong, law enforcement. <laughs> I'm going to internalize that. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Research. Oh, it's a research. Oh, okay. So we're. Oh, it takes longer because we're researching it. Okay. And we got to sing that. And we got some broken tapes. Okay. I wonder what would happen if I would have walked around without clothes on. Hey, what's up, buddy? Gate, the cafeteria manager. A man in his late 20s stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance and looks down again. Empathy, failure. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. Look at that stuffed bird. <laughs> a competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among the pile of coasters. Drying mugs, one of its wings broken. The man's trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off uh, the shield that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. Medium success. This is a great skull. The seabird is a symbol for the discovery of the Incidentalin Isola, the part of the world that you are in right now. Sweet. Perception. The small steel tag says much. The great skull. Cool. So I recognize it and then I read it. Sweet. That's a great skull, right? Look, your buddy no, is over there. He looks okay. at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping on his foot on the Why floor. Don't Why don't you go talk to him? Okay. I'm a cop. I talk to whomever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird. Are you a no, bartender? I'm not the no. bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. Continue. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. Uh, what's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here. Not me. I'm only standing in. So where did this Sylvie go? She just, you know. His eyes dart from left to right. This man is in line, but he is hiding something. She just, so what? So now you're a cop? Forget it. Ah. Uh -uh. What no, happens if I'm we ask him? He says the same thing. Okay. Oh, we're just gonna leave. Interesting. So... 
I'm kind of gonna be a bit of a dick, probably, I think. We'll aggravate people. The menu's been wiped clean, only the word Monday is written on it. Can we enter? A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts with a man's handwriting. Alright, that's what happened to her. This is a water cooler. A large bubble is rising to the surface. Okay. This is the door. The door is bolted to sign reads. Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. Wait. There's a time when the kitchen's not reserved? The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Ooh. All right. Window. Inside to catch a glimpse of union paraphernalia. A strike poster, some red pennants. Okay. A sign reads, mess hall reserved for union members. Door open 1600, which would be 4 p.m. All right. What do you? The royal pinball machine is unplugged. Encyclopedia, the theme on the pinball machine is a standard royalist theme used on everything from pinball cabinets to full-fledged cigarettes. What are its hallmarks? Clinging to the picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand embezzled on it. Wait, where do I get such a crown? The idea of a king in a century gone is pretty fascinating. I'd rather not know more about the world. Wait, where do I get such a crown? I want to be king. It comes free with a six packs of vermilion, Roy Dior. The words Roy Dior are stamped on the crown's plastic. Uh, yeah, 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 the king. Sentiment is called the anti-centennial nostalgia, pinning for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even uh, now after 50 years. So I'm thinking this is like 2030s then? Maybe? I mean, this is probably just an alternate world, but all right. Hi, drunk dude. I'm with you, buddy. Sleeping dock worker. Man sleeping at the table wearing mud cake boots rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt reads Wild Pines, encircled with a logo of a tree. A colorful piece of plastic is dangling from a carbineer. Hmm, makes your fingers itch. On the counter, uh, rolled out his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to pick up the pills, man. Item gained. Magnesium. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Good. You just picked up medicine. This item is stored at the bottom left of the screen above your character's portrait. Aha! Uh, click on the icon to heal your morale if you have morale damage. Uh, inspect a piece of plastic. It's a dock worker's ID doubling as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able-bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. Steal? Sure. Nope. You fumble with the spring-loaded gate of the carbonier, but to no avail. The dangling albums refuse to come loose. They just jingle ever louder in manner. Like fucking sleigh bells. What are you doing? You're gonna get caught. Uh, stop finger. Fucking <laughs> officer, the cafeteria manager, shouts from behind the counter. I'm responsible for these oaths and these stuff. Even sleepy there. I was just checking to see if this man was okay. You stay, <laughs> you stay out of this bartender. Fine, fine. Finger bang him then. I don't care. He starts angrily, turns back to his activities. I want to wake him up. Nope. All right. You generally shake his shoulder, but nothing happens. All right. We'll leave. Fine. I'll finger bang him later. A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquor spilling out. Oh, drink it, please. The surgery black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? It's drink o'clock. Let's go, baby. Atta boy, it's coming back to him. You had your mesliomabic, mesliomibic, mesliomic, bic reward pathway th worried there. Not thinking about drinking all the time. It was like you weren't yourself. I've been secretly thinking about this all the time. Actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Now that you mention it, I do need a rum and lemonade. I love Gaute to serve me up a beverage. I want a beverage. Forget about the bar, don't forget about it. But you should totally try to get dr uh, to get a drink there too. But first you should lick that stain off the counter. Oh yeah, lick it, dude. Lick it. You press your tongue against the counter. The stain is crusted at first, but afterwards a couple of licks, it starts to melt like a snowflake. If snowflakes were made of spiced black rum, I love spiced rum. Oh my gosh, this guy's my hero. Maybe it's your imagination, but there's already some lemonade in it too and some human hairs. Beautiful. Find booze and drink it. You could definitely go for some more. The tindalane scent of alcohol in your nostrils is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Hey, bartender. Hey, not bartender. Give me a drink, buddy. I want a drink. I want a drink. I want a drink. Give me a drink. Are you the bartender? No, I'm not the But you can still pour me a drink, right? If I, I could if I were a bartender, but I'm, but I'm not. I'm the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. I hate you. I hate you. I want you to know that. I hate you. 
Are you married by chance? Are you married by chance? All right, we'll talk to you. Hello, sweetie. The cryptozoologist's wife, you Lena. Keep your colleague waiting. Uh, she nods towards the man in the orange bomber jacket. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap the episode up here because this guy's probably gonna lead us out of this area is my assumption. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button to the game. Comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Later, everyone.